It's certainly one of the five or six great collections of English and American literature in the United States, perhaps in the world, and significantly of manuscripts, including drafts of poems and short stories, journals, diaries, correspondence. And that really puts the Berg on the map as one of the must-see places for researchers in English and American literature. There are about 400 authors represented in Berg. Conrad, Dickens, Kipling, Stevenson, Whitman were very strong in the manuscripts of Emerson, Thoreau, Virginia Woolf, Allen Ginsberg, and other beats. How we engage an author, most of us, 99% of us, is with the published edition of their work, usually in a paperback. But in looking at the archive, what you come to realize is that that published version, it's a very limited view of what the author has done in preparing that work, and it's not necessarily always, in quotes, the best version. You come to see the various drafts and even the notes and even the messages and notes to oneself as part of this entire thing we call the work. This is the manuscript of Mark Twain's Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, and it has with it the box that Twain had specially made for it. A good number of pages in this manuscript didn't make it to publication because the satiric expressions of Twain about religion and a few ribald passages were considered too outrageous for his wife and his publisher. The Burr Collection has the archive of Jack Kerouac, and what we have before us is the second version of On the Road. And you can see that Kerouac originally wanted to call this novel The Bee Generation. We have almost a hundred different titles which he experimented with, but then his publisher prevailed on him to go back to one of his earlier titles, On the Road. If you are a, a person who's having relationships and has emotions and thinks about what it means to be alive and what it means to die and what it means to be in love, then you love literature if you also have a feeling for language. Literature is one of the ways in which the human spirit finds expression. And so these first-hand pieces of evidence of human beings struggling to express that are always going to be important.